So I'm going camping at Joshua Trees for the first time ever. I haven't gone camping since I was in second grade and I don't really count that as camping because I didn't have to prep for anything. So this time around I have to buy a tent, a sleeping bag, well everything that's camping because I don't have anything. So I said to myself, you know what, let's go to REI and let's go look for some camping stuff. And here's what happened. Okay, so here's the thing. I went to REI because I was looking for a tent, sleeping bags, a sleeping mat, and a few other things. And I wanted to only spend $100, maybe 150 max, and that's it. And I hear really good things about REI, so I decided maybe that's the best place to get all my camping gear. And so here's the thing. So we go into the store and I'm looking for the items, but we're in a rush. So I go and ask an employee, hey, where are your sleeping mats? So they show me the sleeping mats, they show me the different choices, and they give me the really smallest one because I just wanted something to just sleep on. And so he gave me one and he put it on my arms, kind of forcing me to just buy it. Then I asked, how much is it? And he said it was like $160 for the smallest one. And I said, what? I was planning to only spend $200. And then I literally told the employee, man, I am too poor for this store. And he kind of chuckled and then he said, oh, don't worry, so are you guys members here? And I thought to myself, didn't I just tell you we were poor? So I said, no, we're not members. And then he said that you pay $30 and it's lifetime and it's there's no annual fee or anything like that. And you get all these cool exclusive things. He made it sound so great. And if I wasn't so poor, I would have gotten that membership for sure. And he was telling me that I'd get also a percentage off from the sleeping mat and all the other camping stuff and I can actually rent it from the Tustin store and just a lot of different things and a lot of different options that he gave me and it was great and he gave me his referral code he gave me this piece of paper and he said take it to the front when you buy the sleeping mat and get the membership and it's totally worth it and he talked for a very long time and I just heard him out because he had a lot of things to say and he just kept talking and talking that there was no way for me to interrupt somewhere in his sentences so after he finished talking he said yeah so it's very beneficial and all that stuff and blah 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 so then he leaves and so we're like yeah we're gonna browse around the store to see if we need anything else because we also need a tent and a sleeping bag and a bunch of other stuff so after that I wanted to go ahead and browse around the store to see what else we needed so I put the expensive sleeping mat into its expensive inventory and left it there and just went to browse and the crazy part is that as we were going through the REI store and looking for this tent and the sleeping bags it just got more and more expensive we even saw a cooler that was a thousand two hundred dollars a cooler it was really small too wow it's it just got more expensive it was crazy but I will tell you that a lot of their gadgets are very useful and there's like even prepped food if you're going like camping or hiking for a very long time and there's a lot a lot of essential things that you could buy from there and they're very useful and I would totally recommend it but I just don't have the money for it give me one second because I'm about to order some coffee Good morning, what may I start for you? Sorry, I didn't get my dose of coffee, so I really need some. All right, so let's go back to the REI story. So yeah, it was really expensive. I think it's very beneficial and I really love the store, but it's just not for me. All right, so I just parked because I just got my coffee and it was so embarrassing because, so they gave me my coffee and I thought they were going to say, have a great day. And I'm so used to saying you too, or you as well. But instead of saying, have a great day, she said, enjoy your coffee. And I said, you too. She's not even drinking coffee. How embarrassing. But it happens to all of us in some way or another in conversations like that. By the way, this is a vanilla sweet cream nitro cold brew. Very low in sugar, carbs, and all that good stuff. And it tastes really good. Anyway, now that I'm parked, I can kind of concentrate on the story. So yeah, as we were browsing around the store, it just got more expensive and I was like, wow, this is too crazy. We are not getting anything from here. I was even expecting some of the drinks like water or soda or whatever they have there to be about $30. I think they are more overpriced than Disneyland. Anyway, we were about to walk out of the store, but as we were walking out, Isabel found this knot kit, which is basically showing you how to tie knots. There are many different methods. So she said, you know what? It would be really cool to take this to the camping trip so we all can be like trying out different knots and just learning something different right I'm I love to learn a lot so I thought that that was perfect and I already knew and I kind of thought you know what that thing's gonna be like $30 but it's all right let's take it so we go to the line because we're about to go pay and there's three cashiers and for some reason and for some odd reason the employee that came up to us earlier about referring us and saying all this stuff about the membership and getting the sleeping mat 
He was our cashier and I felt kind of bad, but also I was very truthful. He said to us, where's the sleeping mat? And I said, oh, I'm too poor for this store. And he kind of gave me like this disappointment look like saying, ah, oh, you poor people. Or maybe it was a disappointment look of saying, man, I don't get this commission or I don't know what they get out of it, but like, you know, he was just very disappointed in us. But anyway, we still ended up getting the knot kit, which was really, really awesome. And yeah, so we got that. It was actually like $5, maybe still overpriced, but we got it. So what I did after we went to REI, I went on Amazon and I found the tent, a sleeping mat, two sleeping bags for me and Isabel, a lantern, I even bought a telescope so we can look at the people on the moon. I spent probably less than $250 with all those things, maybe 300 max, but nothing more than that. Which is way better because think about it, if the sleeping mat was about $150 and we buy two of those just to sleep on it, like that's it. That's already $300, but with the $300, I got a telescope, I got a sleeping bag, two of them, a sleeping mat, and um, a tent. Did I say a tent already? I don't know. There was like five things. And the great part about ordering from Amazon, well, we all know this, but it usually comes the same day or the next day. So all my things came in yesterday, which was so perfect because we're going camping tomorrow. So now we're fully ready. So I don't know if you guys have been to Joshua Trees, but I will tell you that I looked at the weather and it's going to be so cold. I went to Alaska about two to three years ago, and I'm just going to take a bunch of snow gear with me because I feel like that's the best option. But also at the same time, I don't want to over exaggerate because we're going with a couple of friends and they may just take a sweater and they're going to be like what the heck you going snowboarding or something but maybe i shouldn't care because you know what it's gonna be freaking cold and i want to be comfortable anyway we will see what i'll bring tomorrow because you guys are gonna see the vlog it's gonna be a different video and it's gonna be so awesome and i can't wait to show you guys and you totally should like and subscribe because when we go to joshua trees it's going to be my first time putting up the tent and you have to see how much i fell and you're going to see me use a lot of camping gear for the first time so if you've been camping before or you're going to say Michael that's not even how you use it because I always use things incorrectly but I'm always the first one to go through it because I just don't know what the heck I'm doing ever anyway yeah that was my little story of why REI makes me feel so poor but one of these days I'm going to buy stuff from there but yeah overall I'm very excited to go camping because again it's my first time so it's gonna be a lot of fun and I can't wait to vlog the whole thing oh and also after we left the REI store there was this Halloween store next to it and we decided to stop by there I'm pretty sure you heard of this Halloween store it's called Spirit at Halloween and I'm going to tell you something right now the best time to look for Halloween stuff and costumes is right after Halloween so after Halloween November 1st that store has 25% off the whole store and the best part is that November 2nd 50% off everything and that's the day that we went so here's the great deals that we got so we got two costumes for me and Isabel we got two different weapons as props and we bought a few more uh, Halloween decorations for the house we spent $80 yeah, $80. We bought costumes about a month ago and we spent over $100 in just two costumes. So yeah, the best deals to go is right after Halloween. So maybe Target and Walmart and other stores like that may still have a uh, Halloween discount. So you should go right now actually. Because speaking of that, I may go to Target right now because I think they also have some Halloween stuff still up that they just want to get rid of because it's not Halloween anymore. On November 1st, you take down all your Halloween stuff and you start putting up Christmas stuff. It's never too early to put up anything actually. All right, well, thank you so much for hearing me out on this story because yeah, if, if you can relate, let me know in the comments down below. But also let me know in the comments down below if you bought a few things from REI and if they are beneficial. That way I can go buy it. <laughs> all right, well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm going camping this weekend at Joshua Trees. For the first time, it's going to be so awesome to see me fail. Trust me, I feel like putting up the tent is not going to work out for me. Alright, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.